Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Uh, we just came back from, uh, what's that place called? Ten Pines Bluff. They're part of our crew now. They're, they're one of us. And, um... So we can we could be getting people actually at Red Rocket Truck Stop too. That's something else I've been thinking of. Since they joined up, they're kind of far away. I gave them three turrets, two on top of their house and one next to the uh, busted up building that's to the side of their the build property or the property that you can build. But um, we uh, be a very good idea to take advantage of the Red Rocket truck stop because it's really close to Sanctuary. Like, it's just up the road a bit, really. <coughs> Excuse me. But right now, there's nobody here. There is assets, though. There's a workshop. There's a cook stove. There's a lot of different stuff, actually, that's already here. What's this? It's a weapons workbench, we got a power armor thing, we got a normal workbench, a cook stove, and an armor workbench. The only thing we don't have is like a chemical bench or whatever, but we need to get people here, and we need to defend it. So, off camera I'm going to fiddle around with this, and I'm going to scrap as much as I can. The trick that I'm having is uh, I'm scrapping stuff, but our resources don't transfer from one um, area, one owned area to another. I think that's the, uh, what's it called? The local leader? Yeah, supply lines. But it requires a charisma of six. I boosted up our charisma to five. So we're going to work on that so that we can get more people. The other issue we're having is we haven't really checked out like just to the south of of our um, our city like we have what is this okay brain fungus Alright, so that's some kind of beast's lair, or somebody's living there, or something. Some kind of cave. Glowing fungus, gas canister, coffee pot, what was that? Screwdriver, used oil can, wow, ball peen hammer, this is all really good stuff. <laughs> it's all smoky, <laughs> I can't see. So we might die very shortly. I'm gonna grab some water here because I'm wicked thirsty, I just realized. Okay. So, what do we got? I'll turn on my light again so that you guys can see. What, what is this brain fungus even good for? What does it do? What does it do? Does it make your brain bigger? Uh, hit points and rats. It's probably like part of some kind of drug or something, like mentats. I don't know. Maybe it just look like looks like brains. Man, I get so freaked out going in these caves. More rats. Whoa! Oh yeah, they dig under the ground. I can't dig under that piece of plywood, though. Well, I guess they could, but they couldn't pop up right beside me like a goddamn jack-in-the-box. Look at that shit. God damn it. Who's this guy? Did you got anything? Whoa. There was just something. Black rim glasses. That probably does something. Everything seems to do something in this Fallout, and I like that. Any item you have... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Lots of rads over there. I'm gonna have a uh, rad X. Or maybe I could just put on my. It doesn't seem like a lot. I'll put on my gas mask. Maybe that'll be enough. It's less than one rad. Fusion core, baby. Three rads. Oh. Trash busters. Nine millimeter. Ten millimeter. Still getting radiated. All right, let's move away from this. Move away. Trash. I said trash busters something. I don't. I didn't really catch that. Mm. Trash busters award. Mr. Benson, on behalf of Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team in winning the 220. 76 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative efforts in this regard. Sincerely, Gerard Phillips, Vice President, Boston Region. Interesting. There's a lot of loot here. Lots of little things. Watch my butt. Or my back. Yeah, I better sit back. Might take me. Coca-Cola bottles. Beer bottles. Jeez, big pile of garbage. Brain fungus, brain fungus, brain fungus. It makes that noise too. What was that? Something. Combination wrench. More brain fungus, more rat meat. Extinguisher. So the guy won the Trash Buster Award. What? There's a story there. So he won the Trash Buster Award, and he just did what? He just threw it all in this cave? And that's why he had less garbage? Whoa, there's like methane in here. Gamma rounds! Whoops. 50 caliber, 38 Molotov, compensated pipe pistol, and cooking oil. Yeah, there's like gases in here. There's fart gases. Because... Decomposing organic matter produces methane, and methane's a fuel, and it is flammable, like bones, uh, more. Holy shit! Oh, bitches! Oh, bitches! Glowing mole rat. Alright, I thought he was irradiated blood. Go watch duct tape flip lighter. Safe down here. Coffee pot. There's a lot of just random shit in here. Used oil can. <coughs> what was that? A wrench? Some dudes. Or ladies, I guess. Oh no, the teddy bear is drowning. I can't pick him up. And I'm not drinking that water. No way. That would not be delicious or nutritious. Glowing fungus, I will take. I'll save you, little bear. No, won't let me. Oh well, you're done for. Ugh. Need to make some better lockpicks. But I guess they wouldn't want to teach people how to do that in the game. Oh, lots of... 38 rounds, fragmentation mine, Molotov cocktail, Psycho, Radex, Radaway. Awesome. Awesome. All good things. <clears throat> Lots of glowing fungus. Hopefully we can make some kind of radiation be gone. I wonder if I just eat one. It said rads three. It does give me three rads. I thought I'd get rid of them. Oh well. <clears throat> you live and you learn. Don't eat the glowing fungus directly. You gotta do something to it. There's like so much stuff everywhere, I'm not sure if I got everything. This freaking mole rat could like be covering something. He was, but there's the he do he was covering a cabinet, but there's nothing in the cabinet. That's where the methane is. That's where the fusion core was. More brain fungus. It's so strange. 
Okay, so we're done with that. <clears throat> See, we're finding new we're finding new places. It's very important. I know I said this before. I'll say it at least once more. It's very important to explore the area around your starting point thoroughly. Because you can get far away from base and then what happens? You end up too far away, away from your supply lines. Look, that was right on the back of the red rocket. We've been running around all over the place. Anyways. So, I want to go southwest, which is up right now in elevation. There's a water tower. What is that? What am I pointing at? Oh. I'm pointing at our stuff. In Sanctuary. So this is looks like a water tower. Can I get in here? It has a door. That'd be a wicked guard post. Well, kind of. It'd be good because you could see stuff. Stimpak purified water. Oh, lots of purified water here. I wonder if that replenishes. Hmm. I want to go inside. I'm so curious about this. I'm actually going to go outside of my normal deal. And I'm going to toggle... Clipping off, and I'm going to go up here. Oh, there's like nothing. It's not meant to go in. Anybody who's watching me in the game right now is like, he's magic. So we're going west. What's up? What's that noise? Load flies? It's funny, because I just got rid of my shotgun, too. And I was like, what do I use my shotgun for? I use it for anything. Ow, I'm like, bleeding and irradiated. Damn it. Why did I get rid of my shotgun? Murphy's Law, man. Murphy's Law. I always have a shotgun. That's a dog? attacking these dogs, but every single time I've encountered them, they've attacked me. I'd rather not attack them, really. I mean, they're just dogs. They're just trying to survive. Like, I don't, I don't really mean them any harm, really. They're just dogs. They're just like dog meat. They just look a little rougher, really. Now we see the majestic Radstag Doe in its natural habitat. We will stay downwind of the beast so it will not see us. As long as we don't move too quickly, it will not see us. You will notice that it eats with both of its ugly heads, or it eats with one and looks with the other. It's a very cautious beast, but still very stupid, because you can sneak up behind it and shoot it in the bum. I would have left it alone, but I thought that that was funny. What is this? Is this another settlement? And there's like a there's like a house built into that tower. Man, there's stuff everywhere in this game. This game is so awesome. Okay, so somebody chopped that tree down. Is that raiders in there? I'll go into the shadow of this... Thing. There's definitely something going on over there. I haven't seen anybody moving. I do want to clear this first, though. Hub flower. This is somebody's 
spot that I'm taking all their shit. Dog's uncomfortable here. 50 caliber, man. If I find a 50 caliber sniping rifle, I'm going to be making some very embarrassing noises. That is an amazing weapon, actually. Bobby pin? What? Oh, seven bobby pins. Rock on. There's people there. They don't look like raiders, so I'm not going to shoot them. Alright. Here to make friends, not enemies. I'm going to have this gun, but I'm going to have it away. I'm going to come up all cool. Hey, what's going on? I'm an adventurer. I mean you no harm. Hey. You see Abernathy? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. You I'll could... give you caps for any you can bring me. You could use some help with your melons? Are you hitting on me? Healthy farm. You look like you have a pretty successful farm here. We'd like to think so. Having Clarabelle helps. Free fertilizer, as Daddy would say. Whatever saves caps. Clarabelle? Clarabelle? Who, who's that? Claire is our Brahmin. I like to consider her just as much a part of the family as Maisie. She's our cat, in She's case cool. you were going to ask about her too. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Sure. I got time to help out. Great. Doesn't have to be now, but whenever you get the time. I'll help you with your melons right now, babe. I don't even remember what I gotta do. I was too <laughs> I was too busy making jokes. Ah, uh, she's cute. Whatever, man. As long as she's not a mutant, she's probably good. So, oh, I gotta talk to Preston Garvey. Eh. Cambridge Police Station. Go to Diamond City. Bring Jet. What? None of these talk about touching her melons. Lucy. Let's talk about your melons again. I'm finding it hard to hear her. Maybe it's because my uh, I kind of have a jury rigged mic system here. We're in some real trouble here. I hope you can help. I have no idea what I need to do. Why? Why is this not miscellaneous? Jet, Diamond City, Preston Garvey. Silly Mathis? Is that what I need to do? Yeah, that's what I need to do. What the hell is this Silly Mathis? Museum of Freedom. What? Oh. Okay. Alright. I have one of your melons. They're delicious. <laughs> oh, the jokes. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. No problem, buddy. I'm friendly. It's okay, I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here. So don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. What do you grow? What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far. But we're starting on melons. Blake Abernathy. You new to the Commonwealth? How long has this farm been here? Generations, I'd say. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Uh, what's involved? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor, and you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't, ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Wow. Huh, <laughs> you're weak. Bastards. All of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Dude, I'm Minutemen. 
Minute so you know him then? You mean Preston Garvey's crew? Any idea why they haven't been around so much lately? What? He's over in Sanctuary, trying to rebuild the Minutemen. You don't say. That's close by. If he'd only been there earlier, Mary may still be alive. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. I've got it? I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Cool. At least we can do. Cool. I leveled up. I helped them out. Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? Don't... T Whoa. You mean they're like... They'll let me take their stuff. Doc, where did you go, man? What? They got guns. I'm not taking their guns. This is their defenses, man. They got a lot of bullets, man. I'm not taking their defenses. Are I hope you? you realize how much you did for us. They got some stuff here and whatever, but... No, it's alright. Just relax, pup. Fertilizer. I'll trade them for stuff. Can I trade them? Like, how do I trade them? I want to trade a few things. Sure. There we go. Short double barrel, shotgun, bottle cap. Okay. Not a lot. Some people are like, why don't you take their stuff, man? You're like, it's not like you're going to get in trouble or nothing. It's the principle, dude. Relax. You don't need to take every freaking thing you see, right? I'm having a look around. They're okay with it. I just, like, found their family locket. Can I build a workshop here? Oh, snap. This is part of our people now? Wicked. I like to put a turret on every corner. That's what I like to do. They got a cool little house here, man. Like, it really, it's got the levels, it's got a view, that's cool. Oh, that's what those build pieces are for. Uh, try to not fall off the roof here. Alright, do I still have any stuff left over to build a turret? I can build two turrets. That one will have a restricted view of fire, because it's right here. It's better to put them on the corner, because then they get... Oh, what if I put it up there? TCL, my friend. TCL. There. I think it has range to hit things. I know, I'm flying around like an idiot. <laughs> but I want to make sure that these turrets end up in the right spot. There. Their happiness is going down? Why is their happiness going down? I'm helping you guys. Connie's shop sometimes with the words, but... It ain't personal. Why is there happiness it's just away. I can command them now. Who are you? Blake told me what you did for us. For Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Whoa, she's got stuff, man. Clothing iron, steel and plastic. She's got 45 rounds. Shipment of... Ooh. Shipment. Concrete, fertilizer, leather, wood. Cool. So they'll, like, send a shipment of stuff over to us. So that when we need it, we can use it. Fertilizer. Does fertilizer make... 
make our food grow faster? I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna have to look that stuff up. It helps us build things? Hmm. Looks like we're out of time for today, but... We've done some good. We, uh... We made some more friends. See? God, check around. And what's this? It looks like a bus station. On the edge of town? We're definitely gonna have to go over there and see what's going on. And make sure there isn't any raiders over there. I can't do that right now, though, because I gotta... I have errands to run. Real life is calling. But, um... Oh... Before we go, I want to make sure. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get them some more water, cause they're good for food. Where's the water? Water, water, water. Um. Oh, we don't have any concrete. We can't make that, cause we don't have the concrete. Shit. Um. Can we do any of this stuff? No it needs power. Concrete. She had a shipment of concrete. Maybe we'll just have to leave it for now. Hmm. But they have water. And how big of an area do they have? Does it include that trailer? No. They have the farm. They have a fence, a water pump. They got a cool house. Like, this is very cool. Like, you could just keep building up, man. Huh. <laughs> like, how cool would that be? You have, like, this giant tower house. Like a, like a skyscraper. And it's built on top of that. That would be really cool. That's an amazing idea. They have a cow. Or a Brahmin. You know what I meant. And they got a cool place here. They got a workshop. Is that a cat? They have a little cat. Eats the mice that are trying to eat the food. They have a cook station. They have some good stuff. Oh, they have a chemistry station too. Wicked. So the last little bit on this video, we're going to take a look. So we got the Abernathy Farm, 60%. Red Rocket hasn't been built up. Sanctuary is nine people at 80% happiness. And we have Ten Pines Bluff, and their happiness is already going up because they're happy that there's some guns there to help protect them. What we really need to do is we I wanna clear I wanna clear out this building here, make sure that there isn't any badness that's gonna hurt these people. And um, we're gonna go talk to that guy for the for the mission. And oh yeah, cause we have the Starlight Drive-in too. I wonder how we can do that. I wonder how we can get like a few people to show up, and then they can like hold the fort and wait for more people to come in, and then you get your food and your water and stuff. Yeah, we're really gonna need the local leader to connect all this stuff together. We're gonna need that big time. Maybe even a patrol route or something. Anyways, things to think about, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will be... I'm keeping steady with this game. I'm loving what's going on. I'm loving the building. I'm loving the combat. There's there's things here and there that I point out that I'm not exactly happy with. But, um, you know, all in all, this is a good game. And I'm going to keep playing it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.